Hi, my name is Natalie Hummel. I'm the rice extension entomologist from LSU Ag Center. And what we're going to talk about in this video is why different stages of rice are more or less susceptible to stink bug injury. This field that we're standing in right now is a field that varies in maturity from milk to soft dough stage of development. This rice crop is at the milk stage of development of maturation of the crop. The panicle matures from the tip towards the, the stem of the plant. So keep that in mind when you're trying to assess the straight stage of growth that you're going to see more mature grains towards the tip than you will at the base. At the soft dough stage, this is when the grain would be susceptible to peck injury from this point on and also possibly some partial injury to the grain, although most likely you would, you would see peck, which is caused by a fungus that's going to be inserted into that grain when the rice stink bug feeds on it. And this will cause a black or brown mark on the grain and can re reduce the quality of the grain. So that's important to keep in mind when you're assessing the stage of growth. But what you can do to see what it is is just squeeze the grain. This is actually at more of a uh, soft dough stage of development. I, I was not able to puncture or to squeeze it and get it to produce milk. So you can see what it looks like at the soft dough stage of development. It's just kind of a softer grain as opposed to at the milk stage, which you can see if you, if you go further back down, you pierce it and this is what comes out of it is a milky consistency. If a rice stink bug comes into a field at this stage of growth and pierces that grain with its mouth part, which is called a proboscis, it's kind of a needle type structure that they'll use to extract some of that milk out of that developing grain. And this can cause partially filled grains to develop, which can re result in some reductions at the mill and a reduction in the amount of head rice.